This is Noise from the Cranium. My name is Doug, and in the final installment of my imaginary Max Webster box set episodes, I'm going to look at their fifth and final studio album, Universal Juveniles, released in October 1980. After recording and touring in support of the album A Million Vacations, the band continued to be dogged with internal conflict. Keyboard player Terry Watkinson quit in the spring of 1980, replaced by David Stone, who had played with Richie Blackmore's Rainbow. This now left Kim Mitchell as the last man standing from the lineup that recorded their first album in 1975. Once again, Kim would dig into the band's back catalogue of unused material, this time to resurrect a couple of songs that they had been playing as far back as 1973. My box set would include a comparison of how the band tackled these songs over the years. Check out this slightly slower version of Blue River Liquor Shine from a 1975 recording. Mitchell was also doing quite a psychedelic guitar solo. By 1976, the intro featured a cool organ workout by Terry Watkinson. Once the verses kick in, it sounds very church-like with the organ in the place of the acoustic guitar that would end up on the album version. They were also singing harmony throughout the song, and the second verse featured a different set of lyrics. My nights go by sleepless My thoughts just turn around Turn my face to the pillow That's where I cried Hard to get used to you not being by my side The other older song, this one dating back to 1973, was what some might call their magnum opus, Battle Scar. Listen to this demo from 1973, with original keyboard player Jim Bruton giving the intro a slight Emerson, Lake and Palmer vibe. Kim Mitchell's slide guitar is also quite different. Later on in 1973, when playing the song live, Bruton expanded on his ELP intro. Also, fairly typical for the 70s, Kersey used a cowbell in the intro. By 1974, with Terry Watkinson now on keyboards, the organ in the verses was a bit more prominent. Been in jail for a thousand years Found in mass in the left field Kim put the song on hold for a few years, but started playing it live again in 1980, with a slight change to the lyric, found an axe in an empty field, becoming the more familiar found a fist. Been in jail for a thousand years Found a fist in an empty field 
was the live version that got Rush hooked on the song, asking to be part of the studio recording that spawned the heavy collaboration between the two bands. In January 1980, the band demoed a number of songs in the studio. Aside from the two songs that they would include on the real Max Webster box set, the other four songs provide a very interesting listen and would be included in my box set for sure. It's particularly interesting to hear Terry Watkinson on these songs as he was out of the band by the time they recorded the album. Here's Chalkers with a more complex guitar keyboard hook that they repeat instead of the one-off subtle guitar hook. Instead of David Stone's synth solo, we get this Kim Mitchell guitar break. At this point, Czech was mainly instrumental, but still sounded pretty heavy. There were a few cool guitar breaks and a keyboard solo. Sylvana is an instrumental by Gary McCracken, with another great solo by Mitchell. To me, the most interesting inclusion is the song that ended up on Kim Mitchell's solo album Akimbo Logo, That's a Man. To hear the Max Webster version with Watkinson adding his keyboard prowess is a real treasure. I'm not sure how they passed up this gem when selecting songs for the box set. It starts off very different from the outset. Then we notice Terry Watkinson's keyboard hook in the chorus. Now that's a man. There's a different lyric as the song modulates into a very cool guitar solo. I would include a number of excellent live recordings from the last couple of tours before the band finally called it a day in April 1981. This FM broadcast from a year earlier in Barrie, Ontario shows the band in full flight, with David Stone having only just replaced Watkinson. Once again, they are road testing a few songs prior to recording the album. Have a listen to Drive and Desire. And in the world of giants. In the world of giants. The is you got the morning look in your head is screaming. You can't tell where you come from. 
Following the recording of Universal Juveniles, bassist Dave Miles and keyboard player David Stone quit, replaced by Mike Gingrich and Greg Chad, respectively. During the ensuing tour, Chad was fired and Terry Watkinson was brought back into the band. They also added a second guitarist, Steve McMurray, to augment the sound. This live recording of April in Toledo from March 1981 highlights this version of the band a month before they imploded. Hope you enjoyed this reimagining of the Max Webster box set. There is certainly a wealth of amazing material that would provide a fitting tribute to an excellent band. I'm going to leave you with this extended Kim Mitchell guitar solo from Cry Out For Your Life. This has been Noise From The Cranium, thanks for listening and I'll catch you next time. Yeah.